I definitely want to touch on uh, Colony because it's a, a show. Uh, yeah. I'm very curious about it. Yes. I have watched Falling Skies. There's an element of Falling Skies with a rebellion. I'm very. I'm, I'm, I don't know enough about Colony, so I guess can right. you describe Colony and uh, maybe how it's different, or is there some similarity? Or well, I mean, you know, the, I, I think it's. I think the. There might be an initial assumption that it's an alien invasion show, but it's not that at all. I mean, it's really, the, the, the metaphor for Colony is um, Paris during World War II. So um, Ryan Condal, who I'm doing, the, who I created the project with, and I you know, looked at all these great photographs of Paris during the Nazi occupation. And you see women in fur coats sitting at sidewalk cafes, drinking espressos while Nazi stormtroopers are marching by. And that incongruity really fascinated us. I mean, we wanted to explore this idea of, well, what happens? Can you, could you come up with a modern context for this? So in our story, Los Angeles is under a occupation from a mysterious uh, force, but we don't really deal with who the occupiers are. They've installed a proxy human government and the show is really about occupation and it's about I mean it's it's much closer to us installing a proxy government in Afghanistan with Karzai or or Iraq or you know pretty much every country on the planet has either been a colonizer or a colony and you know what how does the how do the dynamics of that kind of society work when you have you know super empower, one sort of super empowered group of people and one um, colonized group of people and how do they interact and that's you know and I think North Korea uh, Cuba you know all there, there are many examples of sort of repressive societies where you know people have to adopt elaborate strategies to survive and that just felt like really dramatic territory if we could put that in a contemporary American context uh, where are you in the writing process we're about halfway through writing we're doing 10 episodes in the first order and we're about I'd say about halfway through that process right now, and uh, we start shooting in July. It, it, USA is known for blue skies. Like, uh, that's their, their thing. Is this going to be a darker, or is this going to be, where does that fall? Is there a show, like, tone-wise you could, could create it, like, compare it to? Or, do you know what I mean? I think, yeah, I'm not sure what exactly I would compare it to. I would say that I think the, the needle is moving at USA. I think that they're trying different things. I think Mr. Robot is an example of a you know, an ambitious, complicated, you know, um, kind of compelling idea that is not, you know, blue skies in the same way as suits or burn notice. Um, I would say that we have a slight blue sky element in our show in the sense that it's a, um, it's not a dystopic future. I mean, there's palm trees and sunny skies, although there's huge metallic walls that kind of cordon in Los Angeles. So there's weirdly these parts of there's parts of our story that are aspirational. You can get on a bus in West Hollywood and get to Westwood in like six minutes, but at the same time, you know, it's a very dangerous place to live. 